Welcome back to the fifth episode of Tropico 5 Espionage, the expansion pack, which has just come out not too long ago. We are doing quite well, I must say. I finally figured out how we actually get independence, which we need to get 50% approval, and then we can declare independence. So, we've got a bit of work to do just yet. I'm going to quickly check my almanac and check out the happiness so we can actually find out what we need to improve. And right off the get-go, I can see... If we are able to build healthcare, I probably should get on top of that. But entertainment, definitely. And maybe also improve housing and liberty should be pretty easy to do as well. Now, what are all these buildings? These buildings are all these ranches that we made a little bit before. Anyways, we've got more than enough money to get to work on everything. So that shouldn't be a problem. The only problem that we'll have is time. But personally, I think we're going to have a lot of time to muck around with. Because once you hit six months you get another mandate for like another 12 months or something like that just in case you start to lose or you're about to lose that is so let's go with entertainment and build a couple of taverns um would be the smartest idea to actually place these taverns where there are a few people about um so maybe in over here as well we'll build another one just for good measure three should be it oh it doesn't fit in there so we'll just place that oh let's see Maybe I can squeeze it in right next to the church. Or the Catholic mission. Turned out to be a mere teenager. Our brave commander promptly spanked him and returned him to his mother for further punishment. That poor guy. So the scourge of the sea is no more and we will receive the crown's just reward. Alright, five thousand dollars plus your dynasty. Oh, what, uh, whatever. I accidentally clicked a little bit too early. Anyways. Uh, it was just some dynasty bonus, so it wouldn't have been that good. We can, well, you'd have to be able to pretty much finish every mission without the dynasty bonuses, and that's pretty much what we're doing now because my dynasty members are pretty much all from a fresh game save, so nothing too new there. What I also need to get to work on is go to research and education. No, not there, sorry. It's welfare and media and newspaper. Okay, we need to liberty or raise the liberty of the people place it right over here roughly in the center of the i guess islands oh, it's not tropico but they should come there should be somewhere where you can actually read the name of the islands i mean apart from just right at the start of the mission but it doesn't seem like you can maybe overlays no that doesn't really seem to help us at all if I press escape and go to the main menu. No. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Something that I guess you don't really need to focus on while you're playing the game, though, of course. And we've researched everything as well, haven't we? We most definitely have. Gonna have to have a closer look at the research abilities a little bit later on. You know what? Might as well just have a close look at the moment. Um, see if I can spot anything. Uh, maybe flexible principles is new. Maybe. Small print might be new as well. Um, I'm sure we'll figure it out, some of these new things. But I'm very much looking forward to what we've uh, got later on. Because obviously the colonial era is uh, just the beginning. Nothing too exciting just yet happening. Um, got another mission. Okay, we'll easily do that because we've got two Catholic missions. So thank you. The revolutionary movement is growing stronger. We'll get more money into our Swiss bank fund or a slush fund as set bladder would no doubt know very well lots of drama happening with fifa at the moment which is a uh, joy to see really fifa's the absolute scum of the world scum of the corporate world anyway completely destroyed football at least set bladder did not a fan of his but that is a story for i guess one of our longer videos which hopefully in less than a week, we'll be able to start uploading. Here we go. We're at 41% as well. So it is looking good for us. I'm tempted to actually quick build. Would be an idea. Uh, we should get, hopefully, that extension to our mandate as well. Uh, the 12-month extension, hopefully. If not, this that's just going to... Oh, there we go. His Majesty has dispatched your replacement, but somehow managed to get himself kidnapped by vicious pirates along the way. <laughs> that hasn't changed at all. Always manages to, manages to get caught by pirates. Somehow that governor general that ends up coming around or at least attempts to come around. 
So I guess all we've got to really wait on is the newspaper. What I could do is potentially um, raise the pay packets of the librarians as well as the budget for the country houses. I'm holding control um, while I'm clicking. So all of these buildings are upgraded with the increased budget. Here we go, we're at 48%. Pirate Pesta kept this stuffed toucan full of jewels for many years until its true value was finally recognized. Unfortunately, it was too late. And thus, a mere stuffed bird became legend. A captive of the pirates, Testa, recognized the toucan and told the dread pirate in the hope of saving his life. Testa decided to investigate but was lost at sea during the worst storm the sea had ever seen. Definite tongue twister. Many have searched for the legendary toucan, calling it the Maltese toucan, as the Tropican toucan was already trademarked. None has been able to find the jewel-filled bird to this day. The return of the legend of the toucan. Alright. So, we have just about completed this mission. We've got 50% to hit, uh, which we should be very close to hitting. You know what? Maybe upgrade the newspaper a little bit, or at least increase their budget. And check out what we're able to upgrade, if anything at all. We've upgraded the plantations. What about the banana ones? Job quality is increased by 20 workers. Increased wealth is increased. That definitely sounds good. You know what? Increase the pay packs. There we go. Your approval rating is high enough so that you can proclaim independence from the crown and we can finally be free from the stupid demands. You can proclaim independence. Alrighty. Not yet. We don't want to do that just yet. Let's go hire a manager. That's something that is new in Tropico 5. And I have never really used that to the full advantage of this whole manager business. Let's see. Union leader? Altruist, maybe? No. None of these really seem to be doing too well. Maybe we'll just go with the union leader. That should do it for us. There we go. The revolutionary movement is growing stronger. That doesn't really help us out at all. So, I think all that's left to really do is proclaim independence now. Well, it's not a laughing matter, this. He is currently not very interested in your little island anyway. If you pay to the Empire for the losses he has incurred from you, you'll be allowed to be independent. Otherwise, the royal forces will come for a small visit. No, we're definitely going to buy our way to freedom, so... Hurrah! Mission completed. Got a couple of different abilities. Now, alrighty, let's hopefully we don't get confused with this constitution. So, check this out. Fewer voters are based on chauvinist gender discrimination. Fewer voters based on reactionary wealth discrimination. And more voters, voters based on crazy liberal ideals. Hmm. I think we'll go with the male citizens, to be honest. Oh, wealthy citizens. Oh, it's tough. Tough to choice. You know what? We'll go with wealthy citizens. Um, a secular state. Increased liberty, happiness, religious buildings, lower crime in the vicinity, or research is 10% faster. Um... I'll go with the secular state because I always seem to neglect liberty as well. Um, liberty buildings seem to cost a fair amount. Like that newspaper definitely cost a um, fair amount. It was like 12000 I think. 6000 or 12000 Even $6,000 in this game is quite a bit. And we've got armed forces. So we can get militia, high school soldiers, additional militia squads raised in battles, no education for soldiers or high school soldiers. Um, high effectiveness. That could be useful. You know what? We'll do that. Professional army. And let's put the rubber stamp on it. Or the wax <laughs> seal. Bloody riddance. I, for one, am definitely not going to miss that old hag. Ugh, the things I had to endure. But no more. Sorry, old boy. Give me a second to cool down. But amusingly, he's still got the title of Lord. Bloody, bloody good show. Now we are free for the crown and there is literally nothing stopping us from fighting this toucan and keeping it for ourselves. Let me venture an estimate and predict that this should be a walk in the park. Here's hoping. So let's go save the Vargas dynasty. Happy with that. 
unfortunately we did of course lose the um, Arsenal Robert dynasty long ago but alas we have got a brand new mission called Totally Spies which will be for the next episode unfortunately these ones are relatively short which I don't like but as I keep on saying that will change very shortly till next time though guys I'll see you later and hopefully you enjoyed this episode just as much as I have